You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a Valentine's S'mores cookie kit. Now, you saw me do the truffles, and you saw me make pink pancakes. Now it's time for me to make cookies, and it's an all-included kit. You just got to add some of your own ingredient. It looks like it's, you know, something I can decorate and bake. And then there are what you need. And then this side has the nutritional information. It's a brand castle product right there. And we'll have a link to their website in the description because you can get these at some stores. They'll tell you that. And then here's what we'll need. And then here's the directions. And I get to make these fancy Valentine's cookies. So this will be the last one in this little series. We have some other stuff for you, but this will be the last one from Brand Castle. So let me do this. Let me get everything out of the box. We'll take a look at all the component pieces and then get started. All right, here is everything in the box. You get your frosting packet. Now you're going to add more to that, of course. Your piping bag. You get your s'mores cookie mix, chocolate wafers, and then your heart-shaped cutter. So you're going to cut the heart and then cut the center of the heart on certain ones. And that's... uh. Pretty much means I'm almost ready to go. I just got to bring in all my ingredients now and start the process, which, of course, is making the cookie mix first. So let's do that. All set to go. I have my ingredients ready for the cookie part. Now, this was going to be, this was washed and dried, so I don't need it right away, but I just like seeing my heart and know what I'm going to be making. And then I have the five tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons, and one teaspoon of water. And then you've seen this bowl before. It's my only red bowl, so I'm going to use it. Okay, so here we go. Let's cut this open and put it in. I think I want to get a whiff. Look at it. It looks very like a wheat batter, almost like breadcrumbs, doesn't it? Let me smell it. Hmm, can't tell right away what that smell is, but let's just go on here. <laughs> Wash cutter in warm soapy water and dry thoroughly. Okay, did that. So my baking sheets are off to the side. They're ready. And then combine cookie mix, butter, and water, and mix until blended. So let's do that. It'll probably smell more like cookies after I get everything in. Okay, here we go. I was expecting it to smell like super sugary, like s'mores, and that didn't hit me. Okay, so after this, then it's going to be rolled out, and I got to actually shape and make cookies. So I have my rolling pin and all my other stuff ready. See, a round bowl would be easier because I could just go in circles. This is a little harder. Maybe if I just keep it right here. And I'll just keep scraping this off too. I mean, at some point, I might just be easier to do what I like to do. Use my hands and put it right on the tabletop. Just flour it. So I'm going to make a total of 16 cookies heart shaped that are three sixteenths of an inch thick and then some of them eight of them get this second cut see here's the first cut and then there's the second cut you cut out the centers and that's how you get that open heart look with the frosting inside okay I think that's pretty well blended yeah, a little bit more in the corner there So again, this is one of those things where you're going to cut, gather re gather your dough back up, reset it, re-roll it, cut, and then just keep going until you get all of them. Let's feel. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I really wanted to do, is just use my hands. Of course, they're washed and clean. Okay. Looks well blended to me. So flour. Let's see. Let me just make a nice ball okay so on a lightly floured surface let me get that set this is a glass surface I'm using I 
It's holding together pretty good. Get a little more flour down there, no? Okay, a little bit on the top. Roll out. All right, three sixteenths of an inch. Ooh, get back. Okay, let me cut some shapes here and see. Number one. Okay, I think it's a little thicker than I want, so let me roll it a little bit more. Okay, I think I got it now. A little bit thinner. So I'll start over here. There's three. Oh, I have my spatula here. Handy and off to the side. I got all kinds of tools off to the side. Okay. Four, five, six. Oh, I think I can get eight out of this. Seven. Can't squeeze an eight, so let me get these out of the way. I'll put them on the sheet in just a second. So I'll shape and re-roll that. Two. They kind of have a graham cracker look to them, don't they, color-wise? Okay. Is that I lost track two four six seven oops well I've used this thing so many times I can't believe I just did that too much pressure all right that was kind of funny shocked me I was like what do I do stop Ah, eh, just move on I am going to put a little bit more flour down. Did you see how it was sticking? Okay. There we go. That'll definitely help. All right. Second round. like the perfect size and thickness <laughs> so anybody make special treats for Valentine's Day is that something you do is that when you like to make special cookies or truffles like I did All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Six more. Hmm, it's gonna be close. I'm running out of room. I don't have my cookie sheets handy, so I'll do that. I'll tell you what, I'll probably cut a few more and then get some of these cleared out so I can make some more room here. Right. It's gonna 
gonna keep going. I'll be really close. All right, what I'll do is I'm gonna put these on my cookie sheet, come back, and then I'll finish them up. Okay, so my first eight, and then I have six more here, two, four, six. So I need to get a few more, and then uh, I'm good to go. And I need eight with the centers cut out, so that's what I'm gonna do now once I get this rolled out. So I got a bunch out of the way, so I have some room here to work. Ooh, it's gonna be close. I have extra in case I need it. Okay. I think that's pretty good. And you know what? I'll have extra dough when I cut the centers out. So let me do that next. Let me line them up. Here, I'll do it this way so you can see better what I see. There's the center. Come down and cut. One, got to be careful with those. Ooh, look at those little hearts. I'm going to keep those little hearts. There's two. They're fragile. Just like my plastic piece that I, my plastic scraper that I broke. This one's thicker. Three. Ooh, that one came out nice. I guess I don't need to count the numbers. You know what number I'm on, right? I'm going to lay that one right on my tray. Now you see what I'm doing. So after this, it actually says, then turn your oven on and then let your cookies cool in the refrigerator. So they probably need to set just a little. So when you see me next, these are done, I will be putting them in the oven. So I'll show you that step next. I'm keeping my little hearts. I might put those on a separate tray and just bake them on their own. Okay, so there you go. All my cookies cut. I am set. So when I come back, uh, we'll be putting them in the oven. All right, I wanted to show you what they looked like before they went in the oven. And remember my little hearts, I kept them. So I'm going to bake them less. Set about two inches apart on the pan for 12 to 15 minutes. So next time you see them, they'll be baked and we'll start decorating. All right, they are out of the oven and I would say they look pretty good. They came out nice brown on the bottom and I'm supposed to frost and then stack them. I don't know if I'll have to find, you know, the perfect combination. Some of them are not perfect hearts like that one. Ooh, look at that. And then I saved my little pieces. I baked these a little bit less. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so let me move those out of the way, because now I need to make the frosting. So the first thing they say is to whip up the butter on high. Okay, so let's get that set. So on high for one minute. And I'm going to do as close to one minute as possible. I have my timer off to the side. And I will start that. And I am set to go. Here we go. I'll stop at 30 seconds and scrape it all down. Ooh. That's high. Sorry, all you headphone users out there. All right. We just scrape it down. And then I'll do it for another 30 seconds or so. And we should be good to go. Okay, that's good. Cleaning off the beaters there. Then it says add frosting mix. All right, so add the frosting mix. Let's give that a whiff. I like to give things a, ooh, that smells good. It's almost like a vanilla smell. Add 
frosting mix and powdered sugar and mix on low. So let me just get this started by hand here. Before I put my mixer in there and blast this thing. Nothing like turning a mixer on when you've got powdered sugar and it's shooting everywhere. Has that ever happened to anybody out there? Okay, you can just tell it starts to combine and turn here. I'm going to go a little bit longer before I put that mixer in there. Okay, I think it's... Combined. So I'll do it now with the mixer just for a little bit. I'm afraid, you know, it might shoot everywhere. And then I'm going to add the milk. It says heat on high until creamy. Ooh, look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? Nice and fluffy. Let me see. Creamy. Oh, yeah. Nice and creamy. That looks good. Okay, so now I spread this on the cookie. So let me do this. I'm going to clean up a little bit, come back, and start decorating. All right, I am all set. Decided to bring in some red sugars and pink sugars. I have my piping bag ready in a cup. And I just need to put in the one teaspoon of oil to my melted chocolate. There we go. And I put that in the piping bag, and I'm set to decorate. Now, I, st I saved my frosting, what I had left. It's off to the side in case I want to add some to the top, maybe, to something now. I don't know. Almost there. So now, from here on out, just use your creativity, whatever you want to do. Or just dip things in the chocolate and eat it. You know, I guess at this point, it's all about having fun, right? Here we go. Ah, that's easy. Unlike getting a frosting in there, this just pours right in. Okay, I'll scrape it just a little. I could squeeze a little bit more out. Okay. Mmm chocolatey. I have to say I've been tasting the frosting and the frosting is super tasty. So twist that. Okay that's all set. Now they said a small hole which makes sense. You don't want a giant hole in a piping bag that's got liquidy chocolate. So I'm gonna go super tiny and see if that's enough. You could always make it bigger you can't make it smaller without changing bags. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so it's telling me that I didn't cut enough. Let's see. Not yet, it's not releasing any air. There we go. So that was the right size. I might have to cut just a little bit more based on the bag. Ooh, look at that. I'll make squigglies across the top. Ooh. Let me move you in the back. Let's bring in another one. Give him the place of honor here. I'm going to just put some chocolate on this heart. Let it melt everywhere. Okay. And I want to get some pink sparkles, of sp pink crystals on that one. And then I'm going to just do a little bit in here. There, 
I'm leaving that one. That's the way that one is going to stay. Okay, next, uh, next victim. How about this guy in the corner? Now, what would you do? Would you outline the whole thing, maybe, just in chocolate? Like that. And then see if you can get some red in the center. How's that one? All right, how about you way out there in lonely land? I think I'll do another drizzle. Because I like the look of the drizzle, but then I'll sprinkle. Here, I'll do straight checkerboard style. Okay. And a little pink. There. Ooh, look at that. Okay, the sparkles, I mean the sugar crystals do not come with the set, so I'm sure if you got some around the house, you can do the same thing. Alright, what about this one? Hmm. Let's create, how about just circles all the way around? Chocolate is holding up really nice. There you go. And then I will do, do do, do do, little smiley face. Ooh, he looks mean. There we go. Do do, there. He's happy. He's a happy cookie. Until I eat him. Alright, so let's see. Of everything that I've done here, how about I do this outlined. Okay, and then fill it in. I'll have to show you these when they dry. And then I'll crisscross this. Okay, hop on over there, two more. I think I like my happy face. I'm just going to make this one there you go and I'll make these as ears <laughs> like little bunny ears. There. Here, no, wait. If they're going to be bunny ears, I'll fill this in and sprinkle some pink on them. It's going to have some pink here. Okay. And last but not least, this guy's sitting in the corner here. We're just going to call him Chaos. Mm -hmm. You know what happens when Chaos arises? <laughs> Everything happens. A nice chocolatey, pinky. Look at that. And some red. Ooh. Alright, so I just got a few little of these left. So I'll just put them there. Put that one there. Maybe I'll spread a little frosting on that, on the top, which I had off to the side, remember? The frosting still needs a set on these. One. And two. You'll be pink. And oop, you moved. Don't do that. And you'll be red. Pink and red. There. Looks like a chaotic cookie scene, but when I come back, I'll have them organized on my plates and I'll give them a taste. All right, it took uh, three plates to get everything so that you can see it all in one spot. Now I'm studying everything, going, hmm, what's everybody gonna like? Are they gonna like the smiley face with squigglies? 
Are they going to like the heart with pink inside? The whatever I call that one there, I forgot. The chaos one. Uh, tons of chocolate on top. Now the chocolate's settled. The frosting's still not 100% settled. And I haven't eaten one yet, so I really want to take a bite. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the just straight squiggly one in the back. Say goodbye to the squiggly one. If you voted for that one, that's the one I'm going to try. So let's see how crunchy it is when I bite it. Mmm. Oh. I have to say that frosting is super good. And the cookie does taste like graham cracker cookie. So we do have a s'mores cookie kit here. I'm going to take one more bite though. And there was plenty of chocolate left, so if you really want to do it up, you can. Oh, a big piece broke off. So I'm going to say it's a fun kit. We'll have a link in the description for you. So you can try to find it in time for Valentine's Day. And you'll have fun making them just like I had fun making them and decorating them. So let me know in the comments. Here, I'll put you back there. Besides that one, which do you like? And out of the three sets now, the pink pancakes, the truffles, and the s'mores. Which was your favorite set? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see those other videos, we'll have a link in the description. But as always, you can search our channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. You can always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.